Okay, let me first talk about my model. How gorgeous is she and how beautiful is her hair? Do you guys love it? This is my nude glow technique. And unfortunately, I'm not gonna be teaching it today. Why? Because I'll be teaching it on main stage right after this. So be sure to follow us right after. So that way you can uh, learn this technique. So we know in makeup, nude, glowy makeup is super in. So why not transition that into hair, right? So if you guys wanna learn this technique, please follow us right after it. I hope you guys love her hair. Thank you very much. I'm gonna have to talk, oh, not maybe not. I was gonna say I have to talk really loud, but maybe not. Uh, what do you think of this color? All right, all right. Okay, so right now I feel like blonding is the number one service in the salon. To me, that's becoming the new gray coverage, right? Blonding, blonding, blonding with balayage, foliage, all these amazing techniques that are coming out. To me, this is like the new modern platinum blonde because what they get here is they get two for one with this color. So we did a double process blonding with Blonde Life Cream Lightener. New Blonde Life Cream Lightener, nine plus levels of lift, you guys. How amazing is that? Right? Really awesome. And then she was toned with our brand new quick toners. What I love, there's so many things I love about these quick toners. One of them is if it takes five minutes. Five minutes at the bowl on damp hair and bam. They're packed with pigment. There is a clear option. So it allows you to be able to intermix with the violet, silver, and sand to create unlimited formulas for your refinement of your double process blondes. We then went back in with this beautiful pastel overlay in the spotlight color mount and I'm about to recreate that now on my model. So we'll give you all those details as we keep working. Thanks. All right. Guess it's my turn. Come on up, Cameron. <laughs> all right. So what do you guys think about this red? Yeah? So here at this show, this is your chance to get your hands for the first time on our new powerhouse reds. We just launched these colors, and this is a good example of pretty much all of those colors in one head uh, because, you know, I can't go easy on anything. Um, and what we did is I did a technique that I'm calling color morphing where I'm basically trying to create uh, different illusions to accent facial features on a person's face. So we're highlighting cheekbones, we're maybe taking away from the jawline if we need to kind of narrow that in a little bit. So it's all about kind of using the colors to contour it. Uh, I'm gonna show you how I'm doing it over here, but this is a finished result. We pre-lightened her first, and I lost the illustration, sorry. <laughs> so we pre-lightened her first uh, using Blonde Life Cream Lightener, there we go, and 30 volume. And then we just kind of went through uh, and, and started piecing in the colors that, that you can see on the formulas right there. So these things, more than anything that I could say, is these are going to be the longest lasting reds that you will ever see. I'll talk a little bit more about that as we get started, but I figured we might as well get started then, right? Yeah, let's get some hands in hair. Thanks, Cameron. Come on back. Talk loud. There, there we go. go. All right. So like Richard said, you know, we like to do all about education and it's all about education. So let's get started. I'm going to be teaching my pick me up technique. This technique is amazing. Why? Because it's going to save you so much time when it comes to application time. All right. And time is what? Money, right? And I think we all like money. So you can either take in more clients and make in more money or you can go home and have a glass of wine, right? So this technique is really, really easy and I'll tell you why. So it's basically almost like doing a half service, but it gives you a full transformation and half of the application time, okay? So you, got, you saw what I did is just a little baby highlight. So that's not anything exciting and new. But what I'm gonna teach you guys is all about how to save time and it's really all about the angle of your uh, sectioning. So first and foremost, this technique, what you're gonna do, you're gonna split the head down the middle and then right where the head starts pivoting and rounding out a little bit, that's where you're gonna do um, from ear to ear for two sections, okay? Reason being is because once the foil starts falling or you, once you start applying lightener on the foils here, these foils, will, the highlights will fall back. So it's almost gonna make it feel and look like she got a full head of uh, highlights even though it's kind of like a partial, right? So make sure that, that whenever you're sectioning the hair, you section down the middle, you pivot your comb 
and then that's where you're gonna go from ear to ear. Does that make sense, you guys, right? Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do two baby highlights here, just weave it out, because when we're face framing and when we're, our clients are wearing their hair up, we don't want it to look chunky. We want it to look very sunkissed and natural. So when I take my highlight, I'm literally gonna be taking about two, three strands of each weave, okay? So that way it looks very effortless and soft. And then after that, I'm gonna show you my angling technique and that's how you're really gonna be saving a lot of time. What are you up to, Ricardo? Hey. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you? <laughs> sorry, sorry, I thought it was uh, my bad. So I'm starting my base application, but this is actually a perfect time to transition so that you can see the way that we did the sectioning. So ideally what we wanna do is we're gonna take a section and then you're gonna adjust this based on where they part their hair. But you're gonna take a section that I went center part, you're gonna go just above, like between the occipital and the crown here. So you're gonna dip down a little bit and you're gonna kinda take a diagonal straight across. And then from here, you're gonna take a horizontal. And then that's gonna take you, again, below that crown area. And this whole top section, this is gonna be one formula here, okay? We're using the same base as our root shadow for everything, but we're changing our formulas to create some light and dark effects. Now, you can see I've got this sectioned off by the face frame is out on its own. This is gonna be our lightest formula, which you can see right there. Uh, then we've got this section right behind it. This is where we're gonna add a little bit of depth. So for that one, my formula is gonna be 6RR with a little bit of, or I'm sorry, 6RR with 20 volume and this right here. And then we're gonna go right behind that and we're gonna add a little bit more brightness. And this is gonna be 8RRV. Uh, so basically what we're doing is we're creating some light, some depth, a little bit more light because this section right here behind the ear, that's what's gonna sit right, right there, right? Right on the shoulder, on the neck. So all of that's gonna create some light and then the depth in between is just gonna kind of break that up and you're gonna see how that's gonna change the shape of her face and also the way that it just kind of lays right around there. And then this back section here, this is also gonna be a deeper color. So it's not super complicated, but it does do the job as far as creating a completely different look on your, on your client, just the same way that you can create when you're layering uh, with a haircut, you're gonna do the same thing now with the color. How's it going over there, Sherry? Oh, it's going amazing. So what I'm sharing here is this Spotlight Color Melt. This is a signature technique that I shared with Joyco this year. And the great part about this technique, guys, is that it can virtually be adapted to anything you're doing in the salon. So even if you're working on redheads, brunettes, your gray coverage, any of that, you can do a dual or a triple glossing with this technique. It's really fast. Usually I don't use foils. Um, not because I have anything against foils. I think they have their place, definitely. But for this technique, it just makes it really quick and easy. So it's all done freehand. You work off of diagonal sections and horizontal sections. What this does is it mixes up that color, so it kind of tricks the eye for where all the color's flowing and where it's meeting up. So you can imagine off of those smaller diagonal triangles, you end in a V, the next triangle goes off of that horizontal, so it falls lower and different where those colors start to blend and melt. So it makes for that beautiful seamless melt of color. I'll be putting in some little spotlights using color intensity. What I love to do with the color intensity is I love to add in those little pops on your beautiful dimensional blondes. We know that a pastel will shampoo out of the hair quite quickly often, right? So the beautiful part of that is it's something she can have for a few weeks and really kind of show off to her friends and have this cool little pop of blush pink. It fades from the hair, it leaves behind a beautiful platinum blonde, and then she wears that until her retouch. The pre-lightening was done with Blonde Life Powder Lightener and 20 volume. We did do a very generous freehand balayage and I just laid foils down where their uh, hair might have contact to prevent any bleeding it within that uh, balayage. So it's a great way to still be able to get all of that lift that you want, free hand paint with it, just using those foils in a cool way to just section that so it doesn't bleed onto one another. I also want to point out like the amazing condition of this hair after being lightened with Blonde Life. It's already, you know, it's a beautiful tone already. We're just going to refine it using LumaShine. 10SB, 9NV, and then those ribbons with that beautiful uh, blush from the Pearl Collection of Color Intensity. So what we're gonna get is a triple dimensional blonde out of this with those cool little, very whispery soft pops of that pastel pink. So it's gonna look amazing. Amazing, all right. So whenever we're doing partials or any type of highlighting, we do multiple of sections, right? 
So now you don't ever have to do that again. You literally can use one section and do a full partial that way. How? Let me show you. All right. So you guys see that I took diagonal back sectioning, right? Right? I'm going to tease a little bit to diffuse that line. And then this is the trick. Okay? You guys ready? You guys ready for some tricks? All right. So first of all and foremost, this comb is actually really important because this rat tail comb is extra long. Okay? So for this technique, I would highly recommend to get a long rat tail comb. All you do, because listen, if you put the foil right here, obviously it's not going to cover up the whole head. So what you're going to do is you're going to put the rat tail comb at an angle, take my highlights, and then now I can fully cover the whole section with the angled highlight. So that way you guys can work faster and be able to do a full application. And that way it's going to be really, really beautiful and super sun-kissed and natural. And this look is very versatile too. So you, it's up to you whether you want it to be more bright and dimensional or you want it to be more a low light highlight feel. So if you want it to be very face framing, you can take thinner slice sections to really get that brightness around the face. For me, I want a little bit of brightness around the face. And as I take my sections towards the back, I'm going to take uh, thicker, chunkier, or chunkier, or thicker, I guess you could say, slice sections. So that way it's more dimensional. For me, it's all about face framing, that brightness around the face. And then as we move towards the back, I want more of a low light feel. Does that make sense? You guys like that angle technique? Yeah? All right. What do you got, Sir Ricardo? All right, so I'm, I'm just applying the base formula through some of my sections here, but I'm about to start doing some color melting. So this is the one, this is the section that's sitting behind the ear. So this is one of those ones that I'm going to create a little bit more light to contrast against the depth that we've got there. Now what I'm using is, I, told, I said the formulas before, right? So at the base we're doing 4RRV, but then for this part, because it's going to be lighting, or I'm sorry, lighter, we're going to do the 8RRV with 20 volume. The reason that we're doing that is because we don't necessarily need to pre-lighten in a condition like this. When, when, when it comes to red hair, I feel like sometimes we take the wrong approach and we try so hard to get them too light, and that's not necessarily what we, we want to do. For a good, deep, rich red, you only want them to live between like a level six, seven, right? So think about that next time when you're trying to figure out exactly what kind of red you want. If you want them to be a little bit more vibrant, then for sure, take it up a little bit higher and use a lighter formula. Like our 8RR is absolutely gorgeous for that. I've got that here. Uh, as a liquid demi, we're going to do that for her face frame. But as far as anything else, really try to live within that 6-7 to create that perfect kind of natural looking red. So I'm, I'm using the 8RRV because I know that it's going to give me just enough lift against this. And it's also going to give me the coverage here over her pre-existing lightning. And then this is all natural. So it's going to blend that all together nicely. And then again, like I said, I'm going to add the depth right here. So it's really, when it comes to the reds, it's understanding those few things with color theory, like proper lifting levels, um, if you need to fill or not. So you know that's a really important thing. Anytime if your blondes are too blonde and you're trying to take them down to a red, you try to put something in there, sometimes it spits it back out. You really need to make sure that you're filling that color properly, putting in that copper or that gold, whatever it is that it needs so that you can really anchor that red in properly. How's it cool. going, Sherry? Good. <laughs> Speaking of reds, how many of you are fans of uh, the DC Comics and the CW? <laughs> Anybody? Just me. Just me. So I recently did the color for Batwoman for that show Arrow. I haven't, I haven't watched it, but I heard she looked amazing, and the pictures I've seen from set looked gorgeous. So I colored all the wigs for her using Luma Shine and Color Intensity, and I actually use this same technique to create that look. So again, it gives you the idea of how versatile this technique can be. So on this particular head of hair, in one process, we're going in and we're putting in a shadow base with our DD creams from LumaShine. There are dimensional deposit creams. They're used with five volume. You'll never get lift, only deposit. And it's great even for gray coverage. So you know how sometimes with your gray coverage, you get that lift and warmth. And then when they come in for the refreshing, there's that little bit band of warmth and that little bit of warmth coming through. With the DD creams, you'll never have that happen. So that's at the base. Then I'm using our Demi liquids here that you see in the bottles. I like to use a bottle application. You can use a brush and a bowl as well. It applies beautifully that way as well. And then I'm also utilizing our color intensity 
intensity in what I consider to be an unconventional kind of way. We think of color intensity and we think a whole head of pink, a whole head of blue, or the really, really bright, you know, unicorn colors and things like that. But these are beautiful shades, especially the pastel pearls, to use as overlays. So in other words, you've created this beautiful platinum blonde. You put that little bit of a whisper of a blush overlay on. Within a few weeks, it shampoos out, and they're back to their platinum. Or like we did with the model with lots of different colors and getting creative. But I like the idea that I can do all of this in one step. And I also love that, you know, with the LumaShine, you have, you have everything there at your fingertips. You've got your, your deposit-only cream, you've got your deposit-only demi-liquids, and you've also got your permanent palette that all work beautifully together. All right, so you guys see how I'm already done with half of her head, right? You guys will be able to actually see her full color transformation at our meet and greet at four o'clock at the booths will be there if you really want to see her color. But you can see how quickly this technique takes me. Um, also, because I use Defy Damage, it's gonna give me much greater lift and even deposit. So I don't even have to use a high developer on her and you guys will be able to see how well she's gonna be lifted. And I'm using Blonde Life Lightener. It gives up to nine levels of lifts and it's super gentle too. Who here loves Blonde Life Lightener? Who here loves Defy Damage? If you guys haven't used Defy Damage, that is the product to be. It is the new, next generation of bond building, like Richard said. It really is incredible. The beautiful thing about me working with Joico and being their brand ambassador is that I get to use their products before they come out. So I have been using Defy Damage for over a year now, and every time I'm still in awe, not only because of the lift, but because how it makes the hair feel afterwards. So everyone, I highly suggest Go pick it up. It's at, uh, it's at the photo booth. I mean, at the photo booth, at the Joico booth. Um, well, it'll be a photo booth too because we'll be taking photos. But, um, and I highly recommend you pick it up because I think it's going to be sold out by the end of the show, you guys, because it's a really great product to use.